All right, Shailene Woodley is out of jail this morning after being arrested at a protest. We've got all of the details, but first, Drake's good news, bad news, and interesting news. I know when the line blink. Drake is making history. The Six God just broke the King of Pop Michael Jackson's record for most American Music Award nominations. Drake earned a whopping 13, while Jackson's record was 11. He dominates in a number of categories, including Artist of the Year. He'll be competing against his rumored girlfriend Rihanna in that category. Speaking of those two, reports were circulating claiming the alleged couple has parted ways. But that's not the case, at least not according to People magazine. A source tells the publication they're still together, but it's a quote, open thing. Meanwhile, the rest of Drake's Summer 16 tour is an over thing. The singer has been forced to cancel the rest of his North American shows due to that ankle injury we told you about last week. Apparently, Drake tried to power through the injury, but that made it worse. He was going to our vehicle, which they had all surrounded and waiting for me with giant guns. Shailene Woodley was arrested for criminal trespassing while protesting the construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline in North Dakota. And her fans watched it all go down live. It's because I have 40,000 people watching. The star of the Divergent franchise was streaming the protest via Facebook Live for more than two hours. The protest began after a federal judge rejected the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe's request to permanently block a pipeline on its land and burial grounds. She was one of 27 people arrested at the protest yesterday. Shia LaBeouf is a married man. The actor appears to have tied the knot with longtime girlfriend Mia Goth in Vegas yesterday. And in typical LaBeouf style, it was an eccentric affair. TMZ live streamed the ceremony as the couple said their I do's at the famed Viva Las Vegas Chapel with the help of an Elvis Presley impersonator. The actor's publicists have yet to confirm if the marriage is for real. We should go. Ben Affleck is trading in his superhero duties as Batman to crunch numbers in his new action thriller, The Accountant, which had its red carpet premiere in Hollywood last night. Affleck plays a math savant who uses his skills to do freelance accounting for dangerous criminal organizations. Anna Kendrick co-stars. I would say that he is probably one of the sexiest accountants ever, but like amazingly he doesn't seem super sexy at first in this movie that certainly didn't stop affleck from wanting the role as he told terry hart when she sat down with the cast in la ben your career has been fascinating to watch i'm wondering if you could look back you've had such highs a few lows in there um what would you tell your 24 year old self now let's see when you get the script for the accountants just make sure you do it no matter what don't pass on that movie anything else that's the most important thing uh, you know, I mean, there might be some other things about family and life, but you no know, who's interested in that? <laughs> the Accountant hits theaters Friday. Tune in then to hear more from Terry's chat with the cast. Let's just begin, leave it behind, and carry on. I put my heart and soul into it. That's all I can do. And it's certainly enough. Nora Jones's sixth album, Daybreaks, is out now. Ever since her blockbuster debut, Come Away With Me, Jones has been considered by many to be a jazz singer, even though her music flirts with many genres. While this latest work is perhaps more jazzy than any of her others, Jones tells us she likes that her music is difficult to classify. Being put into a category is not my job, my doing, or my business. I don't care. I don't care what people call me. I just make music. I sing songs. So carry on. Ah, such a beautiful voice. And as always, get your entertainment news first in the morning right here and anytime on Twitter at Nth City.